Meta has just released its new app called Threads, which is almost a play-by-play -play of Twitter on the app. I am currently on vacation, staying in this cabin, so this video is a little bit of cabin vibes because I just had to come on here and make a quick video showing you how to use Threads. So I am a part of the Creators Broadcast channel on Instagram, and they notified us about the Thread app going live, and so I watched the countdown, I hopped on immediately, and I will show you what it looks like as soon as I download the app and open it. Since I am connected to my Instagram account on my phone, it automatically had everything ready to go for me. So I pretty much just had to log in, create my account, I automatically imported everything from my Instagram bio already, and then it also asked me if I wanted to follow everybody that I already follow on my Instagram page. And I did decline this at first because I kind of wanted to start fresh and not follow all of the accounts that I've followed for years on Instagram, but how it works is that if you do choose to follow everybody, as those people join threads, you will automatically follow them. So not everyone on your follow list is probably going to have a threads account at this point, but as they join it, you would then automatically follow their content. Now, I really like the vibe of it. It's very clean. It's very similar to Twitter. You have your homepage. The main difference here being that there isn't the same tabs as the homepage on Twitter where Twitter did introduce the For You page and the Following page. Right now on Threads, there's just the one main feed, and it has both a mix of content of people that you're following, as well as recommendations that the algorithm thinks that you're going to like. So that's one difference of Threads so far, but other than that, it's very similar to the layout of Twitter. I mean, it kind of just feels like I'm on Twitter right now but you have your homepage, you have your search tab. This isn't showing me any trending content or anything yet. We'll see if that comes along later. Right now, the search bar is just showing me recommendations for people to follow. And then we also have the writing a new post tab at the bottom of the screen where you'll start your first thread, which is very similar to a tweet. Threads does have a character limit for text posts of 500 characters. You can also add pictures and videos just like you can with Twitter as well. Something to note is that this app is not available in every country as of yet. It should be rolling out over time, but you might not have it available in your app store yet. It is not available in the EU, but I am in the US and it was available for us here. So check your app store, see if it's available, but hopefully it will be rolling out to the EU soon. I'm thinking it has to do with different privacy regulations that the EU has and the fact that Meta is now connecting Instagram threads, all of these apps together and sharing data across these apps. It is too soon to talk about threads strategy right now. I would say that it's probably going to be pretty transferable from Twitter strategy. You can repost just like a retweet and you can quote a post quote thread, I guess is going to be the name of that, where you add your additional thoughts onto someone else's post or onto your own. And of course, you can create your own thread where you add on a post to the original post, and it doesn't seem like there is a limit to how many threads you can add on top of each other. It's weird to talk about an app where there isn't common language. I'm so used to saying retweeting and, and adding on tweets. The bio area looks really similar where it shows the people who are following you, but I am following people and it doesn't show how many people I'm following, which is interesting, but there are privacy settings, make it public, make it private. You can follow and invite friends from Instagram or from other places. You can click directly to Instagram from threads, which is interesting. And the notifications tab will show you new follows, likes for your posts, replies to your posts, all the same as a typical notifications tab. But it is cool to be one of the first on a new platform and see how it grows. So I'm excited to try out my own strategies and see new people join in and automatically follow me. I'm not at hundreds of followers yet, but having just started, I can see people trickling in and liking my first post, which is cool. So I'm excited to see this grow. Just from when we started, I had one follower and now I have nine and this has been a five minute video. So it's cool to see people start to slowly trickle in. So if you're interested in getting in on a brand new app where it's really easy to set up because you just import your Instagram information and if you already are familiar with Twitter, you can jump right in and know exactly what to do. So it is really interesting. I'll be curious to see where it goes from here, what the plans are for the future of this app, 
you know, paying for ads through Meta and having them available on threads in the future and what the future holds for this app. So please give this video a like if you enjoyed this guide to getting started on threads and subscribe for more social media updates and strategy videos every single week. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your week.